I tried swapping the face of the character in the above video. I know. I should have tried this face swap on a woman's video instead of a man's. And I did that as well. So let's look at the simple installation process and usage. Let's check out an open source project named VisoMaster. Below are the features listed. The features will work on NVIDIA cards only. The installer can be obtained from this link, and it's an executable. It means I just need to double click the file for installation, run the downloaded file, and this installer has some commands, hence Windows protection came in. I will select Run Anyway to install. Select the folder where you want to install the program. Make sure you have 50 GB of storage available in the SSD. Select this based on the graphic card you have. I have a 4060, so I will go with the second option. Now the installation and files will be downloaded automatically. After completion, you should see this Finish dialog box. Go to the Install directory. Inside the VSO Master folder, you should see a file named Start underscore Portable. Run the file. A command prompt like this should open. Wait for some time. It took a minute to start on my computer. The latest version, 0.1.6, is running now. Minimize the command prompt, and let's look at the interface. The left section brings the files I will be using. The file type can be image or video for face swapping and editing. There is also a webcam option. I assume it changes your face in real time. I have not used it. Also, real-time swapping will need a strong graphic card to have it working smoothly. This blank section will show us the video and the before and after comparison of face swap. Below are the action buttons. I can save an image after editing and record the face swap frames for video. The third section on the right has a lot of settings which can be used for adjusting the face swap or editing. I will start by giving a path to the folder containing video files I will be testing for face swap and then the images I want to swap faces with. To begin, select a video which is now visible in the sender. I can click the play icon to watch the video. First, I need to identify the face on this frame. I will click find face and one face was identified. Next, I will select the face of the character I want it to be. After that, I will select an action from here, swap faces. So that's how it works. We can look into the comparison. The swapped face has a low resolution and my video resolution is too large. I suggest picking a 720p or 480p video here. The swapped face resolution can be changed from here. This start recording button will start recording all the frames after face swapping and make it a video. I have not selected the output folder to save the file. In the settings, I will select the output directory. Then press start recording. The program should work within 8 GB of memory. However, a faster GPU with the same memory will generate the result faster. It took around 2 minutes to generate an output. This is the result and it's a mistake. Next time, I will not check the face comparison checkbox while recording. I tried on a character looking in a different direction. It's a challenge in itself. On top of it, her hair is covering the forehead and some part of her face. Select a frame with a clear image of the target and then click Find Face to swap. Next, I will select the image of the face I want it to be. You can check other frames in the video and verify if it is going to work properly or not. The result is okay at some places in this video, but the AI fails to identify the face when the subject looks in a different direction. Next, I will be trying on a video with two people. Click to find faces and I got both the faces. I will select one and then select the image of the person I want here to be. The swap looks good. Face swapping on a similar face structure should give a decent result. I will select the second face and swap that with an unrealistic image. The face fits perfectly, and the character's hair is still the same. 
I will press record to start the process and save the file. This was a good result. Note that I am using videos where the character is looking straight at the camera. If the AI fails to identify the face, then the video frame will be unchanged. The settings on the right affect the face swap outputs. The drop down has some other models for face swap, but I felt like the default works best. I tried playing around with the settings, but I think default settings are the best. Or maybe I was not able to tune it properly. I tried all the models, and this VRAM usage went up 100%. After clearing the VRAM, the settings stopped having its effect. I restarted the program. I also had to wait for around 5 to 10 seconds after changing any settings. Toggling 2 to 3 settings freezes the program. This may work smoothly on a stronger card like 3090 or 4090. There are lots of settings to try, and you have to dig in to see the difference. Like this face adjustment, you may not find the difference now. Let me turn off the comparison. The face is more on the left side and less on the right side you may not be able to notice it. But if I make this setting on the opposite side, just look at the image. And there it is. Now the original face is more visible on the left. I tried all the settings and I think oh, I should show this occlusion mask. Changing this controls the face applied on the video from the image as it is visible here. And then at the bottom, this blend option shall blend the sharp edges with the original face on the video like this. Another setting can be this. If I bring it on the extreme right, the nose in the image is from the girl on the video, and the face around the nose is of the girl from the image. It works well on a video with less motion. As the face becomes smaller, the AI fails to identify the target image. Trying on a different face structure works. It is adjusted somehow, but I don't like the result. A character with a similar face looks good. This was a good result. The only problem here was the orange hair. I think an image with tied hair could have made it perfect. I tried on a video with multiple persons. Keeping the face swap 128 pixels makes the video generation smoother, and it is more practical for slower graphic cards. The results look good. What do you think? If you look at the action buttons in the center, you'll find an edit face feature mentioned there, which I found quite interesting. I will go through the face editor option quickly. I will select a folder for an image, select the image to edit. The face editor tab has options like color correction, which is common. I'm looking for settings that can manipulate objects like eyes and mouth. The settings were not working because I forgot to select the mode, select edit face and then it worked and the eyes are closed so with these settings i can change her expression the project works let me know if the video was informative